Hello, we're talking today about mouthwashes, and um, I want to tell you my story. Um, I want to talk about, there, there's some real false information on the internet, as you know. Uh, some people, some people call it, uh, some people, you know, YouTube videos can be incorrect, and um, they can be incorrect. Um, and uh, I, I want to tell you my story. Uh, I believe in mouthwash, and uh, you know, some people don't. I know I'm not trying to tell you not to use a mouthwash. Uh, some of you like to use mouthwash. I like to use mouthwash. A uh, lot of a lot of reasons to use mouthwash. Uh, I like to have clean teeth and you know, clean mouth, that sort of thing. And I, I drink plenty of water. You know, it doesn't matter what water. You know, as long as you think it's clean. You know, you know it's clean. I, I believe my water's clean. Of course, I only I only use bottled water. So uh, um, I do that. But anyway, uh, about hydrogen peroxide uh, I discovered a video years ago and um, I thought and by the way it's Eastern America again please subscribe please like please share and hit that notification bell I found a video years ago because you know I I, I I do a little traveling like a lot of people and I, I went over to the Philippines and um, I got hooked on hydrogen peroxide uh, and I want to tell you, I have chemical burns in my gums because I had followed this video years ago and, uh, it's, it's okay. Everything's fine. You know, um, had a biopsy one time because I, they first discovered this little white spot and, um, anyway, that's called a chemical burn like any other chemical burn, but you cannot. I got mouthwash with 100% or this this thing here says what does it say 92 or something like that you cannot use this as mouthwash let's let's be very clear about that you have to be very careful uh, talk to your dentist or whoever but uh, I didn't know this I, I, I um, you can't carry this on an airplane by the way it's illegal uh, hydrogen peroxide is banned uh, you contact the TSA website. I don't even think you can take the uh, small, you know, the small portion. I don't, I really don't think so. Uh, so I go to the Philippines and before that, uh, I was doing this whole, this, this stuff. You can't do that. I'm going to show you how to correctly mix a, a diluted portion so you can do a proper rinse, mouth rinse, because this is not right. Don't ever do this. This is dangerous, and, and I don't know what kind of problems you can have. Uh, I just talked to someone today. They told me they were using a, um, a Q-tip to clean their nose with hydrogen peroxide, and I immediately straightened them out because that's not right. No, you cannot. You cannot. You can have chemical burns. Uh, I would never take hydrogen peroxide. Uh, always have to dilute this stuff even if it's diluted already uh this thing here i put my glasses on it's it's uh, it's, uh let me i'm gonna do this real quick you cannot again cannot be using this stuff what does it say doesn't even say topical da 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 for use is gargle this one says but see it doesn't say anything it doesn't give you any directions well i'm going to give you directions I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you directions. Because um, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Was, let's just live life simple, you know, and love one another and all that good stuff. So I'm about to cover this subject. But I'll tell you my story. I went over to the Philippines and I, I think their big red flag was we were in a pharmacy and um, there was this hydrogen peroxide. And, and, and what really raised a red flag I stood there and looked at it it said for external use only <laughs> I'm going like hydrogen peroxide is hydrogen peroxide and I that first year I, I I was only over there for 30 days I did that I did a bottle of this crap and uh, you can't do that you cannot you have to dilute it let's talk about diluting this is water okay 
uh, when I when I, I, I learned this uh, through other YouTube videos or other or just searching the internet but I figured this out this stuff has got to be diluted this little shot plastic shot cup that you get some people call it what uh, water dispenser cups whatever you're gonna take water pour the water in there uh, you, you see let me let me help you let me help you here you see I've got it not full I got it like three quarters full and then I pop the cap and I just give it two like one two like that would it, normally it's two squirts I squirt but that was at least two squirts there little small squirts and uh, and then and then I would do the mouthwash. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it. I'm I'm going to pour this out. But it was just like one two little small squirts. Uh, nowhere near even a teaspoon. It's just two little small squirts, and and we call it a day. You know. So uh, please, that is the proper way to mix. You're diluting it. And uh, you don't have to worry about chemical burns. You know, after you... Br I, I normally do that first and then I brush my teeth and I floss. And all of that's done. I rinse and then uh, I just go to my water program like I normally do every day. So now you know. And uh, please subscribe, please like, please share. And please hit that notification button. Trying to help people as usual. Talk to you later. Thank you. Eastern America here. Please subscribe, please share, please like, and hit that notification button. Thank you, and have a great day wherever you are.